a credit card outage snarls grocery stores across the state on Christmas Eve. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News. Christmas Eve was described as apocalyptic at King Supers and City Market stores across the state when the grocery chain got hit by a company-wide credit card outage. Multiple agencies report on long lines and frustrated customers starting yesterday morning when credit card machines at King Super stores in Denver and across the Front Range crashed. City Market in Breck and Dillon were next. The issue was reportedly resolved in less than one hour, but it was tense in the meantime. On Twitter, one customer wrote, it's five minutes away from Lord of the Flies in there, and others described people screaming at each other and employees. No word yet on what caused the outage. Meanwhile, at Copper yesterday, the Christmas spirit was alive and well, with sun, warm temps, and soft, forgiving snow. Making his first turns in 16 years was Don from Dallas. Well, you know, the holidays are great because it's snowing. Don made his first turns ever at Copper, more than 20 years ago. So how has it changed since then? It's way bigger. It's twice the size. It's ridiculous. Getting another first was Katie, a self-described digital nomad originally from Russia, seeing snow for the first time in four years. And I was actually born and race in the mountains, so it was pretty unusual experience for me to not to snowboard. Katie grew up competing on a snowboard, and she missed the snow so much, she might not leave Summit this season. I just live in Airbnbs for the last two and a half years, so I'm thinking about staying here and shipping all my gear from Russia, because now I'm like renting snowboard. Overnight snow totals were light in Summit, one inch at Breck, a half inch at Copper. The big winner was Wolf Creek down south with a foot in 24 hours. A pedestrian in downtown Aspen was struck and seriously injured by an SUV yesterday afternoon. The Aspen Times reports that collision was likely an accident when the unidentified driver of a Land Rover accelerated past stop traffic and struck the victim while she was on the pedestrian mall. The woman is recovering today. Her injuries are not life-threatening. Santa came early to Colorado Springs yesterday when a man robbed a bank, threw the cash in the air, and wished passerby a Merry Christmas before calmly waiting for police to arrest him. The unidentified 65-year-old man is in jail today on $10,000 bond. Witnesses say other people at the bank picked up the cash and returned it to tellers, although police claim thousands are still missing. In sports, the Nuggets play the Pelicans tonight at 8.30 on ESPN. In local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Summit local Lauren Weibert is back-to-back -back Deaf Olympics champion. The Summit Daily reports the 31-year-old Breckenridge resident recently took gold for women's snowboard slope style at the 2019 Deaf Olympics, held in the rain in Italy this past week. The Deaf Olympics are for hearing-impaired athletes only. Weibert won gold in 2015 and plans for a three-peat in 2023. And the Breckenridge Vipers semi-pro hockey team has lost four straight since opening the season with two wins. The Vipers look to right the ship this weekend with a two-game home series against the Vale Yeti. First game is Friday, 7.45 p.m. at the Stephen C. West Ice Arena in Breck. Get tickets at breckvipers.com. Phil Lindemann wishing you a Merry Christmas on Crystal 93.